would like to lead off this evening's video by answering a viewer question that I get asked multiple times a week, sometimes multiple times a day. And I'm just going to kind of paraphrase it as thus. Florida Maki, Governor DeSantis down in Florida has done a really good job since 2020 standing up for our constitutional rights, pushing back against the Biden administration and their agenda. But boy, so many people have come here now because of this. It has driven the price of everything through the roof. Housing, insurance, groceries, everything is just so expensive. And we've been here for years on a fixed income, and we're almost getting priced out of the state. We may have to leave or make some other accommodation. What is the governor's plan to fix this? Well, the answer is actually couched in the question itself. Now, real quick, as always, just want to say thank you. God bless all of you who have joined us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. One of the reasons I have it set at the lowest allowable level of one U.S. dollar per month is so that the vast majority of people can take advantage of it and go over there, learn the psychological operations training, and believe it or not, once you learn these tips, these tricks, these tactics and techniques, it might actually save you some money in your real life because there's a way to see things that maybe you hadn't seen it before. Now, if it's not for you, if there's a financial hiccup or a problem, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. You won't get that deal anywhere, especially after having gone over there and taken the training and looked at the hundreds of never-before-seen videos. It is really almost zero risk. Now, what is the answer? Well, when the question is, what is the governor, the elected official, going to do to fix our financial situation, that pretty much says that you're kind of looking to flip things over from capitalism to socialism. <coughs> because that's what socialism is. When the government gets involved in determining how much this does or doesn't cost, how much groceries are, how much you can be charged for insurance at the most, at the max level. When government starts telling all these places, hey, you can only charge this and no more. You can only charge that and no more. That's socialism. That's the very basic root of it. I put this uh, acronym together and it's a super easy way to remember it. Down the socialist trails. Taxed, regulated, approved, inspected, insured, licensed, secured, and subsidized. What's the governor going to do? Well, you see, a hundred years ago, there were a lot of Christian socialists out there. Believe it or not, a hundred years ago in this country, they despised, absolutely despised, the ideas of capitalism in this country. They hated it. Because basically it was anything goes, laissez-faire economics. You could cheat somebody and rip them off and be down the road the next day and just leave a wake of misery and suffering. <coughs> and the government wouldn't do anything about it. Caveat emptor, right? Well, they put in place Social Security not as a method of saying, okay, here's what's going to happen. When you turn 65, here's a check that's going to give you all of the money that you need to live to the lifestyle that you've been accustomed to for as long as you may ever live. That was not what Social Security was supposed to be about. Let me say it again. Social Security checks were meant to keep people from losing their homes, going hungry, living on the streets. Most people lived in multifamily homes. Remember the Waltons? Remember, you know, people had big families? This check was meant to supplement and subsidize your life so that you could continue to participate. It wasn't meant to say that if you've gotten to a certain level that you've been accustomed to living, that we're going to give you a check that's going to keep you at that level for the rest of your life no matter what. 
<clears throat> that's not what this was about. And it never was about that. Some might say, why didn't you plan better? Some might say, why didn't you save more money? Were you really planning on the government providing the vast majority of your income for the rest of your life? And if so, if so, doesn't that make you a pretty hardcore socialist? You see, all these guys, Madoff, Bankman Freed, all these scam artists, these guys aren't new, Ponzi, these aren't new. Guys like this roamed this country by the thousands and thousands during the 1800s and 1900s. Scam artists, traveling salesmen, snake oil salesmen, selling investments, selling garbage to people and taking their life savings and the law could do almost nothing about it. Almost nothing about it. You see, this is what people might have done with their money, but you know what they decided to do? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what the Christian socialists in government said they were going to do. People who work, we're not going to give them an option. We're going to make it a law. We're going to take X amount of money out of their paycheck, and we're going to put it in investment. And we're going to let that money sit and earn interest. And then... As people start to retire, having paid into this system, we will give them a check. And yes, it was their money, but it wasn't their choice. We're not going to allow them to make a bad choice with this little part of their income. So in case with the rest of their income, they make horrible choices, and by the time Social Security age rolls around, they're still broke, they won't be a burden on society. <clears throat> they won't be filling up the brothels. You see, a lot of people don't think about that. They they think, oh, OnlyFans is terrible, it's horrible. It's all... What do you think filled up the brothels? Do you think it was all young women? Who do you think were a lot of the criminals? This The reason that they hated capitalism back then was because capitalism led to, to criminals. And thugs, because the only point of capitalism is getting rich, nothing else. Now, quick aside here. would like to share something with you that might save you some money. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to do everything that I can to, if I find it, help my audience out. Now, a lot of folks out there have talked about heaven and hell. You know, and there being sometimes a fine line in between. There's something you can get at the grocery store that fits this perfectly. It's Famous Dave's, and they've been around a while, Devil Spit Pickle Chips. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are shaking their heads, some are laughing, and some are like, yeah, we've had those, they're delicious, some haven't. These are absolutely the best pickles I've ever had in my life. Pickles are very healthy, very good for you, but you get a bonus. You see, even though these, these pickles are not that expensive, they're like... I think they, they're actually on sale at Publix right now uh, for $4.20, $4.40 a jar. But the juice that's left over from this, there's a, a bunch of pickles and there's some hot peppers in there, makes an excellent, and there's different flavors, by the way, real quick, there's, there's super hot, medium and mild. It makes a great steak marinade. If you take that pickle juice and maybe a little bit of red wine vinegar, red wine itself, and you put it in a container with some meat, oh my goodness. You see, you get all the spices and all the, the good stuff and all the marinade on top of the pickles. So you talk about saving money. Huge money saver. And it makes your, you know, your meat bill go farther too because it makes the meat tender and you can use more of it. Now, I'll leave a link down uh, in the description to these where you can get them. I've had them, and honestly, I used to be a, uh, a Clawson guy, um, the ones you got over in the refrigerator section. These are so much better. These are so good. So I will leave that there. But last point, this guy in Ukraine, right, this leader of the Ukraine, has now approved military enlistment of convicts. <clears throat> military enlistment 
of convicts. Now, I want you to think about something for a minute. What if Nicolas Maduro had done that? Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Can you imagine the president, whether it be this one, last one, previous one, talk, talking about him putting prisoners in the military, conscripting them? See, this guy lives in fear of his life from the federal government. The same people who write you your social security checks have people running around South America waiting for an opportunity to kill him. I want you to think about that for a minute. The same people who write you your social security checks that you don't think are good enough, you know, socialism, are trying to assassinate this guy. Why? Because he's a socialist. That's the only reason. Because he's a socialist. Even though Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, and Venezuela, and Peru, and many other countries around the world have socialist policies, primarily oil. They don't allow big oil companies. They have one company. Mexico has one. Brazil has one. Colombia has one. Peru has one. Peru, Peru just labeled, just decided to say, you know what? We're done with the whole LGBTQ thing. We are now going to state that they are all mentally ill. And we are going to begin institutionalizing anyone who promotes the ideas of LGBTQ. That's what's going on in evil, horrible socialist Peru. Now, I want you guys to think about the world we're living in. And we have a government in Washington, D.C. that I'm going to say this again. While they write you a Social Security check based on money that was taken out of your check without, you know, your having anything to do with it, they're actively attempting to assassinate the leader of another country who wants to do the same thing. Oh, but not with tax money, with oil money. See, he wants every one of his people in his country, in Venezuela, to get a check too. And to have money to pay for things too. In their old age, or if they're disabled. But because he wants to do it with the profits of oil that is underneath his country, they're trying to kill him. And they're trying to depose him. While this guy, this guy gets billions and billions of dollars conscripting people out of prisons to go fight. It's just unbelievable. So, praise God, every day I live in the new free republic of Florida that has nothing to do with the United States. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.